So welcome to my NBA 2K15 wish list list video. video. That's right. This is an NBA 2K15 wish list video. And if you're in the NBA 2K community and you're very, very familiar with these games, you will notice that most of this is strictly for the PS3 and 360, but it's also mixed in with the new gen consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4. This is in no particular order, and this is just part one. I have a whole list of things that I want to see in NBA 2K15. These will be things that are legacy issues in NBA 2K14 that I want to see fixed in NBA 2K15. Let's get you guys started with jerseys in my career. We should be able to change the jerseys in my career mode. I don't know if 2K has addressed this. I don't know why we are not allowed to hit one simple button and change our jerseys. For prime example is the Philadelphia 76ers have many jerseys and it seems like every year the 2k game gives us new jerseys to wear like a Christmas jersey or a St. Patrick's Day jersey and we can't change them why aren't we allowed to do this I don't understand it I don't get it it, it really kind of becomes dull to the eye and we really need to be able to change our jerseys in my career mode in NBA 2k15 I feel like NBA 2k15 for my career mode should change to a decision based game like telltale games and how they basically make you choose your decisions that lead to this and those decisions lead to this and these actions could lead to these results now i really like how they scripted the story in nba 2k14 new gen it was great but it was all scripted even the gameplay at times would basically force you to become scripted. Choices, choices should lead to different results and actions for your my career. It's called my career, right? Things should happen, but I feel like they really need to focus on the decision-based games. Literally, everything should be decision-based. Choices, choices, choices. I feel like they should bring back the NBA Draft Combine. Now it's really funny, even myself, I, I did not like the draft combine. I was like, this is kind of just a waste of time. It's a bad warm up. But then we all realized, realized what we have until it's gone. <laughs> Playing three games should give you a better chance and better scouting reports for making the NBA draft and getting drafted than playing in just one game. Because what if that one game, you have 10 points and two rebounds? If, if they give you three games and a basically a whole draft combine, you'll have a better chance of not only getting drafted higher, but maybe going to the right team and getting more appreciated. Your My Career player will be more appreciated. I feel like maybe there should be more cutscenes during the draft combine. They should really spend time and focus on the draft combine because that would literally launch your career. And for those of you who say, I just want to play, you are playing the game. This is practice. This is practice for when you're going up against LeBron, Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony. There should be little modes and segments and warm-up drills to also do in the draft combine. I feel like it should be a five-day thing, and you are forced to do five of these NBA draft combine days to really get your my career started. That would be awesome. Now this last topic is a little controversial and I'm sort of on both sides of the story here. But in gameplay, we should be able to choose our emotions on the court. Now I get it, it is realistic, it's realistic AI. I mean a player goes up for a layup, gets bumped, and misses the shot, he's going to look at the ref and lift his hands up. I like how they added that in. But it happens at the wrong time. Sometimes your player will be going full speed for a dunk, gets knocked to the ground, rolls on the ground, and takes his sweet time getting up. I understand that's realistic too, but it happens at the wrong times. There's times where your player takes his sweet time getting down the court because he's getting up and complaining to the referee at the same time. 
So I feel like in NBA 2K15, especially for my career, when these events happen, you know, when you go up first shot and you get hit, and you look at the referee, maybe we should be able to choose to do that. We should be able to choose to argue with the referee or sprint back down court or maybe quickly get up and maybe run towards the player, like get back on defense, like a get back on defense feature. And then if we actually choose to complain to the referee, it should be that same animation that we're already seeing. And we should be able to choose it whenever that happens. I know that they can work out the kinks for that. It's like I said, on both sides on this, this is just things that I've noticed. And sometimes that happens way late in the game. And what if you leave LeBron James wide open and he hits the game winning shot because you're running back down court because of this AI and this feature that they added in. So I hope you guys enjoyed my NBA 2K15 wish list video. Now this is just part one. Couple quick disclaimers. I am a huge NBA 2K supporter and I love the game. Even with all these wish list videos and all these legacy issues, 2K is the number one basketball game out there. I also want to give a shout out to Two Brothers Gaming and Shakedown 2012. You guys inspired me to make my videos and you guys inspired me to make this video. Also another shout out to Nike Faller and iPod King Carter and Gentleman TV. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my NBA 2K15 wishlist video. Stay tuned for part two. I'll talk to you guys next time.